Hello! In keeping with the summer theme that we have started with this session, I thought maybe I'd show you how I made this summer themed bracelet. Now this one is of Jordan, so it's very boyish. It shows when he won the track meet. I'm going to show you a girl's version today. Now what you need to make this bracelet are some chipboard, and you can use any old chipboard. I used packaging, a photo that you like that will fit, for the girls version I'm using an embosslet, the cherry blossom. For the boys I use two different size ovals. You need some DSP, some coordinating ink, scissors, a poker, a hole punch the appropriate size. Now I'm cutting the photo out that I'm going to use with a one inch circle. I tried a one and a quarter and I think it's too big. You need beading thread, two beads that will coordinate of any kind, as long as they have a fairly big hole, a button, some sort of stamp, I'm going to use a wheel, some clear nail polish, and a brayer, and the only other thing you need is some sort of liquid glue. You are also going to need clear embossing powder and Versamark ink. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your um, chipboard, run it through the embosslet, and create your shape. Then you're going to take your ink and your form of stamping. I'm, like I said, I'm going to use a wheel. And then I want you to stamp randomly all over your DSP. When you've got a little bit of texture on there, now I think you can see that it's added some color, you're going to take that and run it through the embosslet as well. And what you have is another image exactly the same as your chipboard. Now you're going to take your liquid glue spread it all over the chipboard and place your embosslet shape on top. Now to make sure that it's, it's down there really well, I take a brayer and bray it. There you go. Make sure it's pretty square. You might not be perfect, but make sure it's pretty square on there. And then what I did, once this dried, but I'm gonna speed things up, is I'm just, I just went around the edges with the ink. Now you can sponge if you want. I just went around the edges. To me that was good enough. Okay. So there you have that. That's all you need of your ink and your stamping. Now you're going to take your photo and your hole punch. center the image and punch it out. Now you're going to take your liquid glue on the back of your picture. Spread out your glue and glue it right in the center of your little flower. Once again, I took a brayer and brayed it down. Now this has to dry for just a few minutes. Okay, now this has dried a bit. What you're going the first thing you're going to do is you're going to just take and bend it a little wee bit. It just so it will curve around your wrist. Okay, now that that's dry, we're going to take our Versamark ink 
and our image and we're going to ink it all up. Okay, once you've got it inked up, take your clear embossing powder and sprinkle it all over your image. Now you're going to embark. Let that cool. And then ink it up. Cover it with embossing powder. You're going to do this two more times for a total of four. Now after it's cooled really well, and you've done this four times, remember? Now comes the bracelet part. you're going to do is you're going to take your poker decide which two holes you want or which two petals you want the, the holes poked in and then you're going to about part way down between the edge of the petal and the picture you're going to poke a hole now make sure you're on a self-healing mat or something similar So there's one, you're going to put two holes in each side. There's two. There's three. And there's four. And now what you're going to do is you're going to turn around and you're going to also poke them up from the back. That makes it easier to thread the thread. Now you're going to take your beading string and I used this and you're going to cut about two 10 to 12 inch lengths. And you're going to do it so that it looks like this. Do the other side the same way. And there you have basically a medallion with two ends. Now you're going to take your beads and you're going to put one on each side. This is why you needed beads with fairly big holes because it has to go through both Now you're going to take 
this loop from the back and you're going to do it now this you have to be just a little bit careful and you're going to do the other side bring your loop and push this through. This just sort of strengthens your rope and it doesn't and it takes some of the pressure off of the edges of your medallion. This is the only fiddlesome part other than that. It's all very easy. Okay, so now what you're going to do is take your strings and just tie a double knot by each bead. Now you can go down to the end of your strings and you're going to tie a slip knot. Okay. You're going to measure how big you need and on the other end you're just going to tie a knot, leaving a tail. Okay, before you do anything else, you're going to take a button and you're going to thread it through here one of the ends and you're going to tie that button on. Now this is a hint I got from Christy Tomlinson. I took an online beading course of hers and I got this hint about using the button as a clasp. I really like it. You can trim off the excess tails then you're just going to take your clear nail polish and put a few dabs on both ends of your string to hold your knots closed. Now that will take a minute to dry or you can use your heat gun to dry it. your loop over your button and there you have the girl's version of my little boy bracelet. Hope you enjoyed that and have a great day.